Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic and in today's video I'm going to show you how to mask data or hide data using PySpark. And for this demonstration I'm going to be using the Databricks Community Edition. I'll link to a video of mine which shows you how to get access to this free environment to play with PySpark. And yeah, I'll link to that video of mine. And apart from that, uh, yeah, let's dive right into the demo. And first let me just give you some context. So uh, we m in some of our data frames uh, that we're working with in PySpark that we're going to be um, handing over to analysts and other team members. We might have data that needs to be, that is confidential. So you might want to hide some data, or mask some data. That is, you want it to be basically recognizable, but it should not uh, be, uh, it should give you an idea about what it is, but not tell you exactly what the value is. So that's what masking is. That means basically in the case of this sample data frame that I have here, which I've loaded from a CSV, we have a couple of columns that could be uh, needing masking, which is one is the email, one is the IP address, and one is the mobile number. So if you want to mask some of those, a way to do it is uh, for email is before the at the rate, you can, uh, cross out all the values except the first and the last value before the at the rate. So that's how you could uh, mask an email uh, and an IP address you could mask uh, the same way that you would mask mobile number or any other strings that is just leave the first two and the last two values as is and the rest of the values you can just cross them out. So let's dive into the demo in, in depth and see how we can do it using PySpark which is a big data processing framework right. So the method that we're using is we're going to be creating some user defined functions, which are, which will actually be performing the masking operation. And then we're going to create a new column, uh, based on an existing column with that uh, masking function called on it. So it'll become clear to you, but let's dive into the demonstration. So the first function, actually we can clear the cell. All right. So the first function that we're going to be working with is the mask email function as you can see here and in this mask email function what I want to do is basically let's take for example this uh, first email id gnitty0 at shareasale.com how I want to mask it is I want to cross out all the values before the at the rate uh, symbol except the first and the last so this g and the zero should remain but all the other values should be crossed out and replaced with some uh, random value, preferably an X or asterisk, uh, just to uh, keep the person's an anonymity. So you, uh, once masked, you won't be able to s directly um, contact this person using their email ID or this email ID won't fall into the hands of anybody who it's not supposed to because it's masked. But uh, even though it's masked, you get an idea of, uh, you get an idea that it is an email ID and the kind of email ID that it is. So that's the situation. Here, and how we do that is so we basically create this uh, masked email function mask email uh, function which is just Python and what it's doing is it's taking a string input value all right not an not a array of not a not a list of strings just a string value and then what it's doing is we're storing the first part that is this G N I T T I zero in a separate variable. How we're doing that is we're splitting this email at the at the rate symbol into two parts. So when we do this call value dot split, it splits it into two parts, and then we're taking the first part. That's why you can see this square bracket zero. So the first part will be this username part of the email. So that is the G in T zero. Once we have that extracted into this mail user variable, then what we can do is we calculate the length of that into n into a variable n and we also create a list of characters from this first part of the email which is the mail user part right and then what we do to that list of uh, emails to that uh, list of uh, characters uh, which is the mail uh, uh, username is we replace the values from uh, index 1 till n minus 1 with the asterisks and we sort of match the length of the asterisks to the number of uh, characters that we have in the email minus two which should give us 
the number of asterisks that need to be uh, ast uh, that need to be inserted there, right? So what's happening is uh, we're splitting that list, uh, and in bit in this range of values, we're inserting a specific number of asterisks, which will replace the characters which were already there, and then we get this uh, care list uh, in the form that we want, right? So that means you'll have a care list which is g asterisk 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 uh, zero. But now how do we uh, create an email ID out of it again? We just join it back basically. And how we do that is we uh, join the char list because it's a list of characters. We join it to make it back to a string. And then we concatenate it with an at the rate and then concatenate it again with the second part of uh, the email ID, which we had split out earlier on. And then when we return the value out, we should get the full email ID with the first part masked the way we require it. So that's just how this function is created. And then a couple of things we'll need before the next step is uh, just uh, we need to import the UDF or user defined function uh, library of PySpark. And just to be on the safe side with the string type uh, function and all, we can just import star as well. And then we create the UDF from this uh, function masked email and specify that we'll be taking a string uh, parameter with the string type here. You, this is just basic uh, uh, Python and PySpark code. You don't have to go into the details. You can just, uh, once you understand this, you can just copy paste this and use this for whatever your application is. You can maybe mess around with the code in the function for your, for, uh, as your use case requires. And then coming back to how we insert that back into the, the data frame is we just do a with column and we call it masked email, uh, the column header. And then we create a column based on the original email column, which is email. And since the data frame is DF, that original column will be DF email, and we're performing the mask email UDF on it. So all the new, all the data in the new column should be masked as we have specified in this function. So let's see if that's the case. And you can see that, yes, it's worked exactly as we uh, wanted it to work. I'll have all this code linked in the, to a, in a GitHub repository in the description below. You can just check that out and copy paste it as you require. So next I'm going to show you how to mask the mobile number and looking at the mobile numbers here, we, we said earlier that the way we want to mask it is we want to leave only the first two and the last two characters as is and the rest we want to asterisk out or X out, uh, depending on our, our need. But anyways, as you can see, we are taking, uh, creating this function mask mobile, taking a string value in there and then we're calculating the length and storing it in a variable n. And then we're creating a list of characters from this uh, string that we took in as a parameter. And then like in the first function, what we're doing is we're inserting between these positions that is index two and index end minus two. Uh, that is from the second position, from the third uh, character in the string to the third last character in the string, all characters will be replaced with an X and we make sure it's the same number of X's as that we require by specifying this length minus four because two characters will be left in the front and two characters will be left at the end. So that's how we get this N minus four. And then we just return it by joining the list of characters back into a string. So there we have it. That's how the we mask mobile. And then same steps as above, we create a UDF out of this function and then we create a new column. Uh, based on the old column, having this mask mobile UDF performed on that old mobile number column and we're calling the column mask mobile. And then you can see that we are, we have this new column with all the data masked. All right. And the same way you can use this literally the same function for IP address. So I know the email um, UDF was a bit different because of the at the rate and stuff, but the second mobile number uh, UDF, you can use it for any uh, textual based masking use that you have. Uh, so as you can see, I've used the same masking for IP address. I've created this mask IP function, same thing. First and last characters will be left. Everything will, uh, else will be an X and I've performed the masking on the original data frame. And you can see that based on these IP addresses, I've got a masked IP address uh, column. So that's how we perform masking in uh, PySpark. And thank you guys again for watching. I'll have all this code linked 
in the description uh, it will be in a github repository and then uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment and hit the bell icon and i'll see you guys in the next one